I'm going to be letting you guys in on the top seven ways to make money online in 2023. We're gonna be covering why you should start, how you can start, and tips for you to excel in all seven of these side hustles. Hey guys, Joshua Carter here. Welcome back to the channel. Super excited to share this one with you. I know that when I first started that I had no clue on what side hustle slash main income stream that I should start. Hence why I've made this video. So yeah, if you are new around here, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and you like what you see. Let's carry on with the video and let's jump into the first one. Coming in at number one is YouTube. A great thing with YouTube is that the content that you do post stays relevant for a long period of time. And a good thing with YouTube is that it has SEO. In other words, search engine optimization. This basically means that your videos that you post will be searchable for a long period of time. And not only that, YouTube provides the benefit and the ability to generate you money for a long period of time from the videos that you post in the past. For example, the videos that you post on the platform, they'll be able to get views and views over time and that will still be able to produce you money from the ad revenue. Now YouTube can be very intimidating at first. You know, you might be shy on camera, you might not know what niche you're in, you might not know what to post, but that's where, you know, you've got to become unique and you've got to kind of find your own self. Now, as you know, there is a lot of competition on YouTube, but it does not matter whatsoever. The algorithm is the same for every single creator on the platform. So if you post, you still have that chance of hitting the algorithm based on viewers. You're gonna need some sort of way to get some viewers, whether you're gonna leverage TikTok, Instagram to gain your first viewers. Now, some tips that I wanna share with you when starting YouTube is make sure you pick your niche. And what I mean by that is make sure the niche that you're making videos on, you know exactly what you're talking about, so then you can go and make yourself marketable. Another tip I wanna say is some content is better than no content. Even posting videos out there weekly, you know, being very consistent, no matter how good of quality it is, that is still very important to keep your channel kind of nurturing people in and still getting some views. Another thing that you should pay close attention to is understanding SEO, ensuring that you're using the right hashtags, relevant hashtags to reach your ideal clients, your ideal viewers, so more people like that can watch it. That is super important. And obviously, if you're consistent enough, you can be monetized on YouTube where you can receive ad revenue and kind of grow the channel further by making money from the ads that are posted on videos. Now, if you don't have any interest in with that side hustle or that income stream, that leads me to my second one, and that's copywriting. Copywriting is a very good skill and a lot of companies, if all companies, need this one skill. If you do like writing, this can be a side hustle for you. And a benefit with this is that you obviously don't need any college degree, you don't need any experience. You can actually work remotely with this role so you can work from wherever you want in the world. You can make money on your own time, your own schedule, which is obviously a very good benefit because then you know you have that time freedom, that location freedom, and eventually that financial freedom because this job can pay really well. And this job enrolls, you know, writing blogs, scripts, SEO related content, that kind of thing. A perk with being in the copywriting space is that every business is going to need you. So there's very high demand for this job. So you're never kind of gonna go hungry for making money doing this. And another thing that you wanna pay close attention to, because if there's high demand, there's gonna be you know very strict and high competition. Marketing yourself is going to be key. Separating yourself from the pack is going to be very important if you wanna kind of take your piece of this pie. It's important that you know and understand your writing strengths. So then you can kind of charge for that price. Another thing that's gonna help you out with this to kind of make you have that leverage so you can charge more is knowing exactly what you enjoy writing. If you enjoy writing about something, you're gonna be a lot more passionate, you're gonna think about it more to have better ideas, that is gonna separate yourself from the pack in that space. And if copywriting isn't for you, this is my favorite side hustle that I definitely recommend and it's actually what I teach and do and that's starting an online business. As you guys know, dropshipping is my favorite and it's been my favorite for the last three to four years now. It's low cost, you don't need inventory, don't even need a website or spend money on ads the way I do it with eBay dropshipping. Very low barrier to entry, you know, you can actually start this business with zero dollars, which I don't know what business offers that. And another thing that's overlooked is that this business can actually be automated, meaning it can run 24 seven, you can make money while you sleep, you've got to kind of only do the work once and then you, you know, you can get VAs, 
virtual assistants to kind of manage it, run that, so then it's actually kind of done for you, which is super important. My tips for this is get a mentor. Now I do offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring. If you want to be mentored by me, you can message me on Instagram at ecomjoshcutter, or you can click the first link in the description and apply for my one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. I know for sure that having a mentor is going to a thousand percent help you. It's going to cut the corners. It's going to save you the mistakes that they made when they first started. So definitely recommend getting a mentor. My tip number two for this space is that you want to understand trends. You want to make sure the markets that you're getting into, you know what products are hot, you know what products are selling, so then you can kind of make your cut for that product at the time. And my other tip is being very consistent. Not many people talk about this, it's very overlooked. You have to be consistent in the space. There's gonna be no magic pill that's gonna fill your pockets up overnight. There's no get rich quick schemes. Unfortunately, they do not exist. You're gonna to have to be consistent if you wanna make money in this game. And that leads me to my fourth side hustle, which is affiliate marketing. Now basically affiliate marketing is where you sell other people's products and you make a percentage of each sale. And the way that you can kind of get yourself out there is reach out to micro influencers. So micro influencers are influencers that are on social media that are a lot lower level, but they are reachable so you can actually get in their DMs and start talking with them and see if you can be an affiliate for whatever they're selling. Now, there is a lot of big companies out there, such as Amazon, you know, they have their Amazon affiliate programs, you have Fashion Nova, the Fashion Nova have their kind of affiliate programs. So you can kind of make money off each sale that you bring into their company, which is obviously very good because you don't have to show your face, you don't have to kind of be present really anywhere. You're just kind of like the middleman, you're making the cut, and then you're going with your percentage. So what I'm kind of saying is that big name brands are making it very easy to collab so you can make money. But the thing with this startup is that nothing is ever going to be handed in to you. You're gonna to have to go out there, you're gonna to have to go DM, you know, 50, 100 influencers to maybe get, you know, five responses. You're gonna to have to be doing a lot of work out there just to try to land, you know, your few affiliates so then you can start making money by selling their products. My tips for kind of this is number one, actually knowing what brand you wanna work with. It's important that you wanna know who you're kind of selling to and what product you're selling them for. And my other tip is knowing your worth. Basically meaning always negotiate because what I'm talking about negotiation is you're gonna be getting a percentage of each one of these products that you sell. So make sure you know your worth, make sure that you know what you think. If I sell this product, you wanna make sure you know how much money you're gonna be making and if the percentage is good. If the percentage is not good, do not take the offer. Simple as that. You wanna make sure that there's enough skin in the game for them and you so you can still be left with something when you are done with the sale. And now that leads me on to my fifth best side hustle and that is becoming a UCG creator. Now this is basically where people spend their time creating content for companies to use in advertisements. Now with this, testimonials are super important if you wanna become a UCG creator, also known as user-generated content. Now testimonials in this industry are gonna be huge because it could change one person's perspective to another. By being a UCG creator, it could change the customer's perspective from them thinking that they want the product to them actually saying, I need the product. Now UCG has come very big ever since TikTok. A lot of people are starting to do this side hustle and they're making really good money from it. And not only the UCG creators, the creators themselves are still making really good money from it. So both creators and UCG creators are benefiting heavily from this side hustle. Now my tips for this is make yourself marketable. Make your website stand out from the rest. Make sure it has your kind of unique twist to it. And also remember, be yourself. That's how you're gonna get your uniqueness and that's how you're gonna separate yourself from the pack. And my other tip is that understand what makes you different from everyone else and sell that. Do you have that editing trick that no one knows about? Do you have that voice on voiceovers that people love to listen to? All these things could be things that you could sell that have the leverage. And another thing that I wanna make clear is that take time to look at your competition, take time to see what's already working and see what you can do to make yourself get a piece of this pie as well. And that leads me to my other thing, if you should do creating is not for you, and that comes at number six, and that is freelancing. Freelancing is basically where you take your skills that you already have and you sell them on Fiverr or Upwork and make a profit. And I want you to be very clear on this is that the skills that you have, stop doing it for free for your friends, for your family, for your people. Charge money for this. If you're good at something, charge money for it. Don't do it for free. My tips for being a freelancer is that do your research. I know it sounds simple, I know it sounds lame, I know it sounds cliche, but do your research. Do competitive analysis. See what they're charging for the similar services that you would be charging. 
By doing this, you'll be able to price your services competitively and this will actually get you the chance for people to see that you're good and that they'll actually choose you over them. Freelancing is always gonna be in demand. People are very lazy for some things and people just don't have the time for it. For example, YouTube editing for videos. I don't have all the time in the world. I'm gonna outsource this to an editor to edit the video for me so I get my time back. It's gonna be a lot better. That's why freelancing is always gonna be in demand no matter what kind of needs to be outsourced. Now that leads me to number seven, and that's becoming a virtual assistant. Now becoming a VA, this could replace your nine to five, this could replace the other side hustles that you have. This can be very profitable. If you do this correctly, you can easily be at six figures a year, no doubt. Now a VA is someone who does some side administrative work, or they do some social media marketing work, that kind of thing. And VAs are always people that work for kind of companies. Companies are always in need of virtual assistants as they're not only cheap to run, but they're very profitable. And these VAs can solve a lot of the company's problems in a fraction of the time. And the benefit of being a VA, there's no cap to how much you can make because you can put the price on your own services. And the benefit with this is you can do this with multiple clients at once. So you can basically sell the exact same service, help the same people except multiple people all at once so you can easily stack and scale to getting to six and even seven figures being a VA. Now my tips for this is knowing exactly how that your service is going to save the company's time and also their money. They want to benefit, you want to benefit, so they want to see that. And another tip is that the clients that you're wanting to work with, that they're wanting to work with you, is that they only care about what they're going to benefit. They're really only going to care what they're going to benefit if they hire you. So make sure you remember that. And now that you have the top seven ways to make money online in 2023, it's now your turn to pick one and take advantage of it. I truly believe that if you pick one of these side hustles, that 2023 can be your year. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you found some value. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I really hope that you can smash 2023 and make at least six figures by doing one of these side hustles. That's it for this video. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.